Have you guys ever like thought you really, really wanted something and then you tried it on and you're like, mm, no. Or you really didn't want something and you tried it on and you were like, I love it. What is up you guys? I wanted to kind of have a bit of a discussion with regards to items that I have tried on and have been surprised by. So things that maybe I really loved and really thought about buying and even maybe did buy and had to return or items that I never wanted, I tried on and I loved. Um, so yeah, let's get started guys. So the first item that I wanted to discuss is the Louis Vuitton lock sandals and they look like this. So, you know, during summer, I was really trying to up my sandal game and I considered purchasing like a lot of different sandals, right? Um, but these were the ones that I got to try on and I thought that I was going to love them. I nearly purchased them online, like sight unseen, but I ended up going to the Rodeo store and I saw them in person and I was able to try them on and they looked god awful on me you guys so I think that if you have wide feet the ones that I tried on were the black leather with the brown heel so what the sales associate told me because I have wider feet it is possible that the fact that the leather was black on top and the heel part was brown that it made it didn't it wasn't very flattering on my foot so I was really surprised by the fact that I didn't I how much I didn't like how these looked at on me at all like at all and I kind of thought that I was going to feel that way about all sandals after trying that on but the fact that he was very specific as to why that was that I didn't like um now I kind of try things on the way that he says so if it's like brown on top then I want it to be brown on the bottom so I thought that would be a useful tip for some of you who might have wide feet as well let me know if you guys agree or what you think um or if you're going to put the tip in practice because like I said it, it's really hard to make a shoe look flattering when you have wide feet at least for me it is so yeah i was definitely surprised at how much i disliked those sandals on my feet the next item that i wanted to discuss is the capucines mini so i thought that i tried on a capucines bb but i don't know and i'm still confused over this i will post a picture over here that i posted on my instagram page I went to the Louis Vuitton exhibit and I've talked about how I do not like the Capucines at all, the BB, the MM, whatever they are, I just don't like them. But I went to the exhibit and they had like a wall of Capucines that were, I, I think they're mini, they're not BB because there's there's two different sizes and there is a BB and there is a mini. I'm pretty sure that I tried on the mini. It was so gorgeous. Maybe the size kind of just drew me into the wall and I tried it on and I fell in love, you guys. I was floored at how much I loved that little bag on me. It was just adorable. So I don't know if I'll ever add it into my collection but it is a bag that is on my radar now um, in the mini size so yeah the next item that I wanted to talk about is this Gucci hat over here now this hat I saw on Yoda style I thought it looked gorgeous on her I mean I went to the store to try it on I looked like the man in the yellow hat from curious george in that hat you guys i looked so ridiculous in that hat i almost should have taken a picture because it was so comical for me um to see how ridiculous that hat looked on me so i opted out of the hat it was priced pretty well and i was literally ready to buy it i actually went to try it on on my birthday so um, I had a good chuckle with the sales associate because I told her that I looked like the man in the yellow hat from Curious George. So that was a definite no. And I was very surprised at how awful that hat looked on me. It could be because I'm short. It almost looked like I was trying to add height uh, over like on myself. Was I wearing heels? No, I'm pretty sure I was wearing flats. Maybe if I was wearing heels, it wouldn't have looked that bad, but I just, I couldn't even entertain the idea of purchasing that hat after seeing it on me. 
I, I just can't. <laughs> the next item that I really did want to purchase is the Gucci hair clip. And I did try it on. I really loved it. But for some reason, I just could not justify the price. I thought it was really, really lovely. But I don't know, once it was on my head, I just felt like really, really silly. Like it just felt like the silliest purchase ever. And I can't tell you that I feel regretful about that. Um, I, I feel that that was like an adult decision that I made to like leave the Gucci like hair clip in the store. <laughs> it was beautiful, but I was really surprised at how frivolous I felt the purchase would have been. So again, I, it, it was, I, I was surprised by that, just by the, by how frivolous the purchase felt. I'm not saying that it's not gorgeous. And if you bought it, like it's, uh, it's gorgeous. It really, really is. But yeah, I'm, I'm really glad that I left that behind. So next is another Gucci item, and this is the Gucci Sylvie 1969 Plexiglass Mini Top Handle Bag. And this is the one that I tried on. I tried on two, actually. I tried on the Plexi, and I tried on the patent version. And I didn't, like, literally physically try them on, but what I did was I tried putting stuff in the bags just to see, you know, how it would work because it was gorgeous. It was such a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. And I was, like, oh, I was so drawn to how beautiful and shiny the bag was. But it is the plexiglass in particular, the bottom, it doesn't have a bottom so it it's hinged at the bottom so then you have like you know it and it's hinged midway like just in the middle so the edges are not there's nothing holding anything in the the openings aren't that huge but if you have a piece of paper or something really thin i could see it coming you know like falling out of the bag and i was really surprised that they would even put a bag out there that looked like that it just seemed so incredibly pointless the patent version is lined th throughout but it doesn't fit anything like i think i could put my phone and nothing else like no card case no nothing because it's incredibly narrow so i was really surprised that they would put this out on the market it's beautiful but they need to make it more functional it's it's gorgeous but i was really for because it is like a good size bag it's not like a mini where you would be like oh you know it looks like a medium size bag almost um small to medium so and it doesn't fit anything so i was surprised by that the last item that i wanted to talk about is an item that i actually did purchase and these are the louis vuitton greaser sunglasses and they look like this um and i might also put a photo of what they look like on me i purchased them i loved them so much that i took off the sunglasses that i was wearing that day and i put on the greaser glasses and i you know sometimes we just go from like inside the house into the car and there's not that much going on to and fro for me anyways um but this day i was at the mall and i kind of walked a lot and i went outside and when i was outside these glasses just did not give me any sun protection whatsoever i think it's the way that they fall on my face i did ask someone else who has them if you know she's experienced the same but she says she didn't these gave me no sun protection the sun literally came through the front right here and it would literally hurt my eyes so i was like I thought it was weird and they do come in two sizes an E version and a W version and I thought maybe it was because I bought the E so I thought you know what let me try the W which is for wider faces but it was the exact same thing you guys and I talked to the associate and she literally understood exactly what I was saying they literally do not give you any sun protection whatsoever for like my for the shape of my face I'm going to say because I know a lot of people have them I have not heard anyone say anything likewise uh, with regards to these sunglasses so I was really surprised at the lack of sun protection that those $750 glasses give you so I happily took them back and 
I'm definitely not. I, I really wanted to repurchase them in the W and I got to try the W on recently, probably the last two weeks. And it was the same thing, you guys. So yeah, I am really glad that I did not keep those glasses. And I was definitely surprised by the fit of those on my face. So that is it, you guys. That is my video for today. Let me know if you all have any items that you've been surprised by after trying them on, whether you fell in love with something you disliked or whether you fell out of love of something that you really, really thought you wanted. I really appreciate you guys watching and I will chat with you guys later. Bye.